Shea Eastwood is a fifth grader at St. Martin's. While he's only been playing basketball for a little over a year, his love of the game has come on strong. It's just a really fun sport. I love touching the ball. I love scoring. And I also love blocking shots, passing the ball. It's all super fun. I can't even get him to stop playing, ever. <laughs> he does this all day in the house, bouncing around. He just picked up the ball one day and just didn't look back. O'Shea has continued to grow as a player in the Catholic Youth Organization, or CYO, coached by his father, Paul Eastwood. However, this season, the joy of basketball went hand in hand with adversity off the court, as O'Shea's favorite aunt, Sophia, was battling with cancer. For us, we wanted them to be a part of this journey because they have known her all their lives and we wanted to be as transparent as possible. You know, we were in, in and out of the hospital, you know, making sure we spent, you know, as much time with her as we could. So it was definitely a challenge. I mean, and you know, to, to go through that with the kids and, and my wife, it's, it's been tough. That adversity turned to grief as Sophia Gooden passed away on December 17th, surrounded by her family. It's really emotional for me. Me and all my cousins and my sister, we were all talking about all the memories that we've had with her. Mere hours later, St. Martin's was scheduled to play St. Mary. Understandably, his family gave O'Shea the option to sit out. He cut me off. He was just like, oh, no, 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 I'm, I'm gonna play. Wiped his tears, I'm gonna play. And I was like, O'Shea, are you sure? And he's like, yeah, I wanna play. I wanna, I, I wanna play for her. And that brought tears to my eyes. I really just wanted to make her proud, and I knew everybody else would also be proud of me. Not only did O'Shea play, but he played brilliantly. As time was winding down, Eastwood sunk a clutch shot to force overtime. It was amazing, you know, like just for, to see the courage that he displayed going out there, having just dealt with that just hours before was um, unbelievable. But the magic of the night did not end there. As the seconds wound down in overtime, O'Shea again found himself with the ball in his hand and sunk the game winner to seal the win, 23-21. That day, um, and he went out and played like I've never seen him played. It was a classic case of tragedy to triumph. That win started a seven-game win streak, earning St. Martins a spot in the playoff just a year after finishing last in the league. While the team is excited to be playing for a championship, O'Shea continues to be honored to play for his aunt. I feel like she's really proud I've been having. I'm still playing for her to this day and forever.